hi and welcome to the wet shave k for another shaving video um, thank you for joining if you're watching and you are not subscribed hit that subscribe button down below hit the bell icon and drop me a like to show your support now also follow me on instagram facebook and twitter i'll leave a link in the description below so just press on the link and go follow me on those social media accounts now let's get right to it um, as you can see in the background, I'm uh, visiting my aunt. I'm here on the farm. And um, yes, I travel shave. Thank you for joining. So today is a very special um, soap review. It's the DLC Yucky Musketeer Rapier. Fantastic artwork. Look at that from Stef Potgitter here in South Africa. Um, Fernando made this for Yucky and the scent oh wow that is Aramis dead on dead on dead on well done Fernando this is fantastic now the musketeer up here will soon be available on Yucky AliExpress along with the matching aftershave splash so stay tuned and um, this is a fantastic scent it's based on Aramis and it's dead on, dead on. Um, before I go on, uh, just excuse if you hear a few noises outside. We are on a farm, like I said, so there's workers over here. Um, so please excuse that if you hear any noise at all. So, right, now the razor I'm using today is the Fatip Lo Storto um, slant razor. It's a closed comb. Um, someone commented a few, I think a few months ago, when I last used this, um, they said uh, the videos they've been watching, all of the other YouTubers, they had the open comb. So he was a bit confused. So um, I can't remember who it was. So you also get a closed comb edition um, or version of this razor. So I got the closed comb as already got the open comb um, Fatip uh, Piccolo. So, yes, excited to shave with this again. And the blade I'm using today is uh, Lord Super Chrome Blade. Um, one of my favorite blades. So, right, the brush I'm using today was kindly sent to me by Sean Riley. I gave him a shout out in last week's video. So, just another huge shout out, Sean. Thank you so much for this brush. It's the Yucky 24mm. Um, Heritage brush, uh, synthetic, has a nice backbone, really, really like this. Right, so I'm going to start making my leather. I've scooped a little bit out in my yucky uh, teal shaving bowl. So I'm going to make my leather and to save some time, I'm just going to stop the video. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, my leather is made. Look at this, fantastic. Oh, the scent, one of my top 10 fragrances, Aramis, oh, it's dead on, dead on. Now, when I got this soap, I uh, compared it with my Aramis EDT, blindfolded, I couldn't tell the difference. I honestly couldn't tell the difference between the scent on the soap and the EDT. Um, the aftershave splash, I could tell a small, slight difference. Um, but uh, the soap, oh wow, the scent is fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to wet my face. Oh, great. Let's apply this lather. Oh, this is really amazing. Just want to see, I can see my reflection there at the back. I don't know if it's on the video, but wow. The scent, the whole bathroom is filled with this Aramis scent. It's fantastic. Um, I don't know if there's another soap um, that has an Aramis scent. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if there's another soap that's a homage to the um, Aramis. Um, I'm not aware of it. 
I hope the lighting is okay in the bathroom. It's a bit dark now. I think the sun is behind the clouds. Oh, this brush is fantastic. And what a race. There's another soldier down, down. let's save it. Okay, save the soldier. Um, I think there's a tractor going there, the background, so please excuse that. Um, I was saying, oh yes, um, what, a, what a race, the Formula One. Last week, Sunday. Um, super happy for Max uh, for winning the Formula One championship, champion of the world. What a fantastic race. The moment there, I thought, nah, Hamilton is going to win. But last minute, yeah, it's a very controversial race. But I'm happy for Max. Yeah, I think this will do. Yes, great. Okay, so this, the Lord blade's the first use of this blade, and uh, let's do the first pass. Oh, hear that audio feedback. Wow, that's super smooth. No pressure at all. Um, there's also a bit of a controversy with the slant razor. Some people say it's a, it's a gimmick. Others say, no, it works perfectly. It's, uh, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do, the guillotine effect. Um, personally, I can't even tell the difference. Totally honest. I can't tell the difference. But wow, this... That's super smooth. Really, really smooth. Oh, the, I like it. It's fantastic. Let me just shave into the camera. Of course, my whole angle is different now. I'm not used to this bathroom. But wow. The scent is fantastic. Uh, the soap is also super slick. Amazing quality. Oh, this is great. So my holiday, it's really relaxed. I'm not doing much, I'm reading. Um, I'm still a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, was since I was a little boy and uh, started reading that again. Uh, very awesome friend of mine who is a girl um, gave me two of the Harry Potter books. Because uh, my collection got lost. I had all seven books and was lo got lost. I don't know if it's stolen or what happened to it, but we were moving. I think I was still in, in high school. We were moving and it just disappeared. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I'm really thankful. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying my holiday reading. A nice Harry Potter book. Don't know if you guys are Harry Potter fans. I know it's not, not everyone is a Harry Potter fan. So then you are a muggle. You are called a muggle. Non-magical people. Anyway. 
just to es escape the real world and go into the fantasy world of Hogwarts. It's fantastic. Oh, wow, this blade with this razor, that's super smooth, really smooth. The bl blade is not, um, on the aggressive scale, I would say it's about, let's say a seven out of 10, maybe, um, maybe eight or six, plus minus. Um, but it's fantastic, it's really smooth, really smooth. Not that sharp, just going to rinse the face. Oh wow, the scent is stunning, stunning. So if you are, if you really want the Aramis uh, scent, and it's a bit out of your price range, Get the aftershave splash and the soap. It's fantastic. It's dead on, dead on, dead on. Really fantastic. First pass done and it's already so smooth, my face. Um, so that's great. So what? Or your shave of the day? What is your shave of the day? Sorry. Um, don't talk while lathering. Um, it can go into your mouth. But I know there are some wet shavers out there, uh, toots, um, who like to taste, taste the soaps, the lather. So if you're into that, go ahead. Oh, this is great. Fantastic. Very calm here on the farm. It's absolutely bliss, really. Birds are singing. Shutting down from the busy world out there. Okay, I think that will do. Okay, second pass, cross the grain. That's smooth, very smooth. Oh wow, very much stubble as well. I did not think there would be so much. Oh, fantastic. Oh, this is great. I must say the uh, couple of shaves I've had recently was phenomenal, really. I uh, had a dry patch, I think a few months ago. I had bad shaves, really bad shaves. Nicks and irritation soaps that didn't work with my skin. So I'm glad that's over now. Touch wood. Oh, but this is great. Christmas coming up next week. I'm going to release two videos. One on Friday. Or maybe Wednesday. And then one on Christmas Day. Um, because I really want to do a Christmas shave. With the soap from Master Soap Creations and Pastia Pharmacy in New York. So fantastic scent, Christmas scent on that soap.
Oh, this is fantastic, really. I think I must stop saying it's fantastic because I think you guys already know this is fantastic. You can see a few bumps there. So I'm just going to take my time. Right. Now for those who don't know, this razor is made in Primana, Italy. So it's an Italian razor. And that's fantastic. Great, second pass done. Nice cold water rinse, but not too much to keep the slickness of the soap still on my skin. And I think I just splattered, splashed water onto the camera. I hope it's okay. Right. Soldier down again. And on my shirt, I'm making a total mess here, but that's fantastic. I really don't care. It shows that I'm enjoying this. If you're not making a mess, you're not enjoying it, eh? Fantastic cushioning on the soap. Um, adds that protection onto your skin for the razor to pass. Excellent skin properties. I'll also list a description of all the ingredients and the top notes and the or the notes of the, the scent. But it's a nice, warmy, spicy scent. Um, ideal for the winter months or cold, cold days. It's not that hot here, so I thought, ah, oh, I'm going to do this soap. Okay, that will do. Okay, third pass against the grain, here we go. I think the first time I use, I've used this razor, um, I didn't get a great shave, but then again, I think the blade, I can't remember the blade I used, that also played a role. I think the slant head boggled my mind. Um, so I think that also played a role. But since then I've had a few practice shaves with the razor. Hope this is in the video. Can't really see the angle. Oh, and it's hollow, the handle. Forgot to mention that. And the lining sort of uh, curved, if you can see there. 
And I think this is chrome. Chrome plated, yes, chrome plated. Oh, there's a... That's so smooth, wow. Absolutely great. Fantastic. Now just a reminder, the giveaway is postponed to January for a New Year's giveaway. Few things came up and I couldn't couldn't do the giveaway the, this month or can't do this giveaway this month it's been a while since I did a giveaway now I'm thinking of it Fantastic. That's great. I don't even think it's necessary for a for a pickup. I don't actually like to do a pickups. Um, I find it's ir more irritating this area, my problem area. Ah, oh, great. I've got my towel here. Oh, that was a fantastic shave. Amazing, amazing slickness. And the scent is, if you're uh, an Aramis fan, you'll like this, really. Totally honest. This is great stuff. Oh, that's super smooth and slick. Okay, so now I'm going to use my aftershave splash. The matching splash. Just give it a shake. Oh, that's great. I can smell the witch hazel and the, the aroma scent. I think that's why I could tell the difference between the Aramis um, EDT and this because of the witch hazel. Ah, oh, fantastic. No burning sensation. Scent is oh, amazing, really amazing. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's close that up. Oh, that's super smooth. Just check that. Really smooth. BBS shave. Apart from this area here, my, where my Adam's apple is, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to use Nivea Men's um, Cream, face, body and hands. Just a small amount. Actually, it's not necessary. Um, all the ingredients in that aftershave splash and of the soap is more than enough. Um, I tested this and I'm going to stand by it. You don't actually need an aftershave balm or a cream with those that um, aftershave splash, really. You don't. But I just like to hydrate my face a lot because I have very, very dry skin. Oh, fantastic. Now, if you don't have the EDT and you would like to um, prolong the scent first put on the cream then the splash <clears throat> my voice <clears throat> went a bit dull there apologies okay right and now I'm going to use the EDT from Aramis amazing 
just one splash because as you can see it's I think it's half the bottle so I try to save this just that more than enough oh that scent is sweet spicy aromatic fantastic really really nice okay so I'm, I'm not going to do a recap small recap maybe the fat tip low storto close comb razor and the yucky dlc yucky musketeer up here fantastic soap well done fernando and the artwork is also amazing thumbs up steph portgitter that's stunning now that's it for today's shave thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it also um, consider subscribing hit that subscribe button down below drop me a like to show your support follow me on instagram facebook and twitter to stay up to date on what's happening on the channel so thank you for watching have a fantastic weekend see you guys next week wednesday and saturday for my christmas shave have a wonderful day Bye -bye.